morning. I feel like we need some love today. There's been a lot of turmoil going on out there. Uh, dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. This is love, not that we loved God, but he loved us, and sent his Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one else, no one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. This is how we know that we live in him and he in us. He has given us his spirit, and we have seen and testify that the Father has sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them, and they in God. And so we know and rely on the love of God has for us. God is love, whoever lives in love lives in God, and God in them. Ah, so, the spirit that he gives us, as far as being led by the spirit of God, um, those who are led by the spirit of God are children of God. Um, and so, when we're led by the spirit, those who are led by the spirit have no confidence in the flesh, right? And so those who are led by the Spirit, their lives are marked with love and peace and joy and contentment and freedom and grace and mercy, right? Those that are led by the flesh are self-centered, self-seeking, um, bitterness, resentments, anger, frustration. All those things come out of a life centered in self, being led by the flesh. But the Holy Spirit actually transforms us. We absorb, we understand the love of God. It sets us free to live in a denial of self posture rather than living a life centered still in self, searching and striving for love and acceptance. So then we're in competition with other people looking for love and affection rather than being set free from that, living by the Spirit of God, knowing that we are the dearly beloved then we're able to even love our enemies. We can't do that until we get to that place of denial of self. Um, and that's what I see. There's a lot of Christians that live still in that flesh posture when they're, when they're seeking God. They're still striving and they're in that place of it's more about the physical than it is the spiritual. Um, but his desire for his children is to walk in freedom. That's what Jesus taught. That's what Paul taught. Paul got frustrated when they were trying to be led back into legalism or trying to do it by the physical or by the law rather than being transformed by the goodness and grace and mercy of God through his Holy Spirit in our lives. May you experience the fullness of God by submitting your life to God and living your life more by the Spirit than by the flesh. Uh, there's a lot of flesh Christianity out there, but you will know them by their fruit. And what fruit? You will know that their life is marked with love. It'll be marked with peace. It'll be marked with joy. It'll be marked with self-control. It'll be marked with contentment and beauty and forgiveness and love. That's my message today. God bless y'all.